you you know it's, what what was a bounty hunter like in those days, man? Like nobody would have probably even know what a bounty hunter was right. back then. Yeah. In those reasons, right? So these people gave them the information they needed to know, which is crazy because it was our people. We were all the same people, right? Right. Mm-hmm. But the distinction the distinction was made in ways that were unclear to them. It these ways were clear to the bounty hunters that came in. So the bounty hunters put their plan together, what have you, and Long story short, you know, you know, you know, we might here we are in this region. I might have or my ancestors, your ancestors, mm-hmm. you know, G Green's ancestors, you know, CL Vic's ancestors, right. our ancestors, you know, accumulatively, we got like 400 heads of cattle. We got 30 wives, you know, 40 wives, 400 heads of cattle. Right. Um you know, we have we have wealth, we have land, we have all of these things. Now we share these things yeah. with, with the population was there that we came and we brought because we all work together, but we still make the final decisions, right? And so the population that was there, imagine them now have like having the opportunity to get rid of you, right? And then have what you have right or even though it's theirs too they want to be in charge right they want that hnic you know they want to sit in that seat yeah, they want so, the energy yeah, as far yeah, as far as i understand it that sort of thing took place and we were you know you sleep you know you get knocked over the head they duct tape you take you to the wharf take you mm. to the ivory coast you know what i'm saying and you put yeah. on the ship what? You, you, you know, saying the seas, all that, everybody of that bloodline, right? Put on, on there and then taken from there, the Ivory Coast now to, you know, you can't go back to the States, got to go down to the Caribbean. And during that voyage, you're going to, you're breaking them in. You want them to stop speaking their native language. You want them to stop worshiping their native creator yes you want them to you want them you want them broken um and during that voyage also you know you got to understand this has got to be very traumatic for the people who are in hiding who've been running all this time to really be caught and really be doing this kind of voyage right and so you know you got those that are getting sick you got those that and this is coming from my elders told me these things. You understand? Wow. This is not a, something that I'm reading anymore. Right. Like now wow. I'm getting into what I was what's been passed down to me, right? Wow. So now, so now it now you, you throwing you throwing captains off of the off of the uh off of the plank. You you're throwing them off the ships now because you're talking about a real rebellious people. You're talking about the people who have God's people who were running and you know, you know, you could just imagine what they've seen. All of the books. That in the Bible, like these are the people that all this was about. Yes, sir. So they're not just gonna lay down and do the trip. You know what I'm saying? They they yeah. gonna they're they gonna, gonna, they gonna try to right. And so what happened? They took all they made the made the voice to the to the Caribbean, right? And then they dropped off the ones that were the most rebellious that would not be allowed or not be granted permission to go from the Caribbean back up to the states to the promised land right mm. which is the u.s at the time oh. right and right wow. so also the strongest the strongest the pairs the breeding pairs that the colonial because remember they understood animal husbandry and all that too because we're talking about very wise people we're talking about the people Man. who run the world now right i know where you're going right. i know where you're going been running bro. It for wow. a while. They, <laughs> they, 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 you know what i'm saying they've been yeah. running this for a long time yes. right? yeah so so and as a matter of fact, they were meant it was it was it was it was uh it was written and and uh and foresaw and prophesied that they would do this, you know what I'm saying? This is what you know they are the rulers of all of this here, right? right, so, right. so anyway, mm-hmm. um they you know dropped off the ones who got sick, the ones who weren't fit to make it, the ones who were the most rebellious, you know, like oh shit, we're not taking you, your black ass, you gotta stay here. Right. And, and so we were marooned. Maroons. We were marooned yep. Yep. Maroons. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to a, a, man. A fraction of this were marooned. I say. Now, the other, the other, the other faction or fraction of, of the slaves that were taken there were permitted to go to the States 
And so now you have, mm. and of course they, they, they came to, you know, back to Massachusetts, back to the Rhode Island, the Boston, you got Roger Williams there. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, you know, these, you can look them up. And these are things that I knew before Dane Calloway was talking about it. So when he was speaking on it, I was like, wow, like, you know what I'm saying? Brother man really did his, uh, his, his research, you know what I'm saying? His homework. So yeah. They got, so they got, they got there. Now, you know, of course, you got the best of the best that you that you that you siphoned from what you dropped off in the Caribbean. So now you got the best of the best. You got the ones who they yeah. weren't really trying to fight like that no more. They like, yo, listen, take us where we got to go. You know, we don't know how you got us here. We don't know what you want, but we want to live and and, and we're going to do whatever it takes to to live and and and, and, and thrive. Right. Mm -hmm. Or survive. Right. So. And the conditions would have had to have been crazy, right? And right. This, these are the conditions that I'm not really sure if, you know, I mean, we there's films that's been put out that sort of give people an idea about, you know, what it was like. But I, I can't really, really uh, wrap my mind around what it, what it really must have been like without breaking down into tears. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. talking about... You, you're talking about something that's got to be the darkest hour. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, it, 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 I mean, it, in in history, it's got to be the darkest hour in history. I know no, other no doubt. other ethnicities have been through things, and other peoples have been through the, but that shit had to have been like the you darkest. Know what I'm saying man. like, yeah. So this is where I feel like now. Remember now, now, now. I'm speaking on what what was passed down to me from the Caribbean side of things, but on the American side of things, the U S I, I now, now we get into, you know, my U S history. I wasn't born here. So, so my history here is not, I can't say I lived it, but the way that I look at it is like, let's take the Mayweathers, for example, South Carolina. Let's take another mm -hmm. gentleman. I don't really want to mention his name. Very, very powerful, very strong South Carolina. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, You know, the Mayweathers have been fighting. You're talking about, maybe i don't know three or four centuries of fighting they've been, they've been fighters for that long right so really? wow that, that's why floyd is he's the product of you know three to four centuries of fighting mm. fighters wow so I'm trying to say so 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 they were they were the ones who you know the the the, the, the colonials at that time selected as okay you're the ones that are going to work and you're the ones that are going to build this country right so now we fast forward to anyone who is not from the Caribbean or not wasn't born in the caribbean but those who were born and raised here in this country mm. you are and they are the ones who it was their blood sweat and tears that built the country at that time right, right? so we're talking about the strongest of the strong you yeah. know what I'm saying? The champions of the champions, um, you know, slaves, but still the best. Right. right. And so because uh, they were selected. Right. And so even though they might have had, uh, you know, African roots, ultimately, or what have you, they might have been mixed with some of the different gene pools over there where they were taken from. They 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 still now became Americans or American gotcha. property of the United they, States, yeah, right? Right, right. So, mm. and, and I give the credit in terms of who built the country at that time or who was working. This is before the Chinese were abducted to come here or before the Lat Latino, you know, American or uh, Latino, Latino, Latina population was brought here or yeah. any kind of that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like that, wow. that, 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 that contingent that came from, you know, Africa brought down and was permitted from the Caribbean to come up to the States. That's the best of the best, you know, that was selected. Right. See, so see this right here. This is why we got you, man. Now people could get vexed uh -huh. if they want, but just think about it. All of the real thinkers, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the George Washington Carvers, the um, Frederick mm. Douglasses. The, uh, I mean, just, just go down the list, man. All yeah. of the greats. We can name them, every last one of them. And let me, let me also segue into, of course, Islam is there. And I'm not, mm. I'm not, I'm not completely, you know what's deep? 
my homie Rasul. 